Hey guys, what's up? Sermon 11 here with my review of Hunter x Hunter episode 83. Um, I thought this was a great episode of Hunter x Hunter. Um, some pretty cool things happened and um, I'm going to discuss them. So the Hunters Association, they now know of the Chimera Ants. I don't really know what exactly happened here. Uh, I guess I should be paying more attention. I thought I was paying attention. I don't really know um, who actually told them. Was it, um, was it Kite's crew? Um, did Kite somehow send a message? Uh, if you know what happened there, tell me. If it's not a spoiler, you know. Um, and, uh, they're on their way. The chairman guy, I think, I think he was the chairman. He was, uh, he was in the Hunter exam arc. I know he was, like, over all of it. And, uh, he's on his way. I guess some other people, too, because, you know, there are other people in the opening. Unless those are ants, but I think they're people from the Hunters Association. And I'm guessing this will be key in this arc. I really don't think Gon and Killua will be able to kill the ants forever. Uh, eventually they're going to run into an ant that they can't beat. And probably a uh, kite can't beat it either. Maybe that will be the king or something. But I think they will start to have trouble with the ants. Um, they're definitely going to have to train during this arc. I mean, they train in every arc. Because each enemy just gets stronger and stronger and stronger so eventually they're gonna have to guess I guess create new nin abilities or um, you know change the ones they have kill was still kinda developing the lightning technique um, I'm guessing Gon will have a paper form of his uh, rock paper scissors thing maybe that won't capture things I don't know that'd be kinda cool uh, and Kite's crew somehow knows of the they know the structure of the Chimera Ants. I wonder if there's going to be an explanation on how they uh, came into existence in the first place. I don't know if that was covered in the beginning of the arc, but how these ants just come out of nowhere. Well, start off with Queen. We have the Queen just eating animals, and eventually she's giving birth to uh, various ants who have abilities of s s the species that she's eating. I just want to know what happened there. But with the structure of the Chimera Ants, at the top we have the Queen, and then we have the Royal Guard or Cult, uh, Squadron Leaders, Captains, and then the Foot Soldiers at the bottom. And after the King is born, the Royal Guard will serve under the King, and they'll be like a separate tree, and then everything else uh, moves up to the Queen, basically. And for some reason, Kite's crew has iPads. I don't know what's going on there. I think they updated all the technology in um from the original manga series cuz uh I think what was her name like Neon? I think she she could have had, like a flip phone or something maybe in the the manga and then when they updated it she had an iPhone or something that looks very similar to a smartphone. And um Ramot, if that's how, I think that's how you say his name. Uh, the dude who looks like a rabbit and bird and whatever else. He uh, has Nin, and someone sent me a message about that because I was confused on how he actually got his Nin ability, and Gon gave it to him, and they explained it in episode two. It's apparently the same way that uh, they got their Nin powers from Kite, not Kite. Uh, oh, I forgot Wing, yeah, Wing. So it's the same thing with that. I don't even remember that. It's been so long. Heaven's Arena. So Colt has, uh, he has Ramit punch him in the face. And then, this is a weird situation. Ramon straight up tells him that he wants to punch him in the face. He says, well, he says something similar to that. But it's pretty much the exact same thing. This dude's crazy. He cocks all the way back. Like, he's near the ground. And then he punches Colt in the face so hard. It's like... Uh, in Naruto, when Naruto and Sasuke were fighting, and then the Nine Tails chakra activated after Sasuke kind of killed Naruto, I guess you could say, or he almost killed him, you know, when he slammed his head into the, um, the rocks, and then Naruto just gets up and just, boom, right in the face, and it looks like it goes into his face, that's how it looked here, and, you know, Naruto just screwed his face up. And I think Col I think um, Ramma kind of did that to Colt too, but I brought this up last time in my uh, last review 
the characters are really smart like really smart some of this stuff I don't really understand how they're able to figure it out like uh, we have Kite figuring out all this different stuff about the Chimera Ants the information that we know but we've seen seen it from both sides we see it from Gon and all of them their perspective and we see it from the Ants perspective so we know what's going on and, and um, Colt was able to figure out that Nen is transferred or it can be transferred by physical I guess interaction or whatever and um, he's just thinking back to the situation where he uh, picked up Ramon and he saw Gon punch Ramon and somehow he noticed that there was a transfer of Nen I guess <coughs> and then you know you have him and uh, Peggy wondering about uh, if they can trans well this is before this but if they can transfer uh, the Nen abilities and stuff since they can do they're su they uh, they're supposed to be able to do whatever the um ants whatever the humans can do because you know they have their DNA I'm sorry I'm just, like, all over the place uh, I'm wondering what Nen abilities they were come up with and I like how uh, Togashi he uh, keeps he has this in the story where he's like uh, kite doesn't like his Nen ability he dislikes it um, and you know it's like a it it's random basically and he has different weapons and then he's always like bad draw and then Killua was like um, then why'd you pick that as your Nen ability because you know it's Nen it's limitless to like the abilities that you can create so it's just why did he create that that might be important I don't know um I just want to ref I wish I just want to um, also say in reference to the fight later in the episode Colt and Peggy seem like to be um, some of the ants that maybe uh, might care for each other I don't know about the the ones lower than that because some of them they seem more wild like the the later ants they seem wilder um, yeah like the the ones the first few ants that were made from humans they seem like they're the good ones <clears throat> and uh, we have Hagia the tiger dude he's notifying all the ants in the area of Gon and Kite and Killua. Um, it's really interesting how Togashi designed these ants. You know, they have qualities from the animals that the queen eats. And most of them don't even look like ants, for real. That's, that's pretty cool. So, Gon, Kite, Killua, they get surrounded and they have to fight. Um, they get three choices on whether to fight, one-on-one, -on -one, run, or surrender. And then this ant was weird. He was like, uh, I think he said we would be angry if you surrender or if you run. So he's basically just telling them to fight. And I feel like Kite is a, a foreshadowing master. I haven't read the this manga series at all, and I can already tell he's leading. He's leaving subtle hints in the story uh, to what's gonna. Ha he's leading. Leading. Let me slow down. He's leaving subtle hints to what's gonna happen later in the story. And we have um, Gon fighting an armadillo ant. And you can kind of tell that Gon's going easy on him. Uh, he crushes him to death in the end. I'm not going to cover like the whole fight. And we have Killua fighting a, ry a rhino ant. He hits him with lightning over and over. And then he pierces his skin and kills him. Uh, Kite comes in with this awesome sight. Which just kills all the ants around him. <coughs> Excuse me. And... One of the things that I noticed was that um, Kite is basically saying that Gon hesitated um, killing a bad ant. And what would he do? No, he was like, the rhino ant had called the one that Gon was fighting trash. And Gon just kind of lost respect for them. What little respect he did have for them. And Kite was saying, what would Gon do if there was an ant who cared about his uh, comrade? would go and not kill him because that's, that's kind of what I think is going to happen and um it appears that a cat ant is born or someone from the hunters association is a cat person and uh Colt wants to look at the human that Zazan brought in you know the one dude with the arrows I hate spoiling myself like I was looking up some information about him and I saw some stuff about him 
in this arc, so I just, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Overall, I really enjoyed this episode of Hunter x Hunter. I'm starting to think Kite is a teacher who teaches on the go while something is going on, you know? And, uh, so Gon and Killua can get a first-hand experience. That's what, that's what I feel like Kite's trying to do. And that's about it. Later, guys. Sorry, this review is kind of long, I think.